Welcome back to the Odyssey channel. Today we have a brand new video. Today's video is why you should buy a grinder. By the end of this video, you should be able to work a grinder and know why you need one. Roll the intro. Why is it important that you use freshly ground coffee? So the second that you grind your coffee beans, the beans start to lose gas. That gas, or like the CO2, is very important for the extraction of the aromatic compounds from within your coffee beans. So if you don't have the gas still present by the time you're actually going to make your brew, you're going to miss out on a lot of the flavors or a lot of the flavor profiles that went into the beans. Now for a product that may have taken five years to grow, could have been a hand planted tree, if, you know, in the case of a panamagatia, if you're getting a really quality ingredient to start with, you want to make sure that it's freshly ground. The only way to do that is obviously by having your own grinder. So when you're looking to buy a grinder, the first thing you should look at is whether it's a blade or burr grinder. So the difference between the two is, if you think of a blade grinder, it's like a neutral bullet or a blender. So you have a rotating knob in the middle with just two blades hanging out either side. So the main thing to note here is, when those blades are rotating, the coffee is just being thrown around the, the container. It, like, there's no way of controlling where the coffee lands and where it gets cut. So the blade just cuts it wherever it lands. Now this leads to a really ununiform grind size, so that will really affect your brew. So when you're getting a burr grinder, it's much, much better for coffee. So you can imagine there's two burrs on top of each other, and the burrs have cut edges, so it's like blades on either side, facing each other. So when you change the grind size, they go further away or closer, which creates a uniform ground, because the only room for the beans to go is in between the two burrs. So you can imagine that creates a really uniform ground, which really impacts your brew in a positive way. So on that, so your brewing method. So why is it important that you can control how fine or how coarse you want to grind your beans? So depending on the brewing method that you use, whether it's a V60, whether it's a Kalita, whether it's an Aeropress, you're going to need different grind size to get the best taste out of that. So if you can't control tightly how coarse or how fine your grind is, then how can you possibly tweak it for your preferred brewing method? Moreover, you need a uniform grind size, as Darren mentioned. And if it's not uniform, what you're going to have is some parts of the brew is going to be over extracted and some parts are going to be under extracted. So why is that? So the coarser pieces, i.e. the big chunks, are going to have more surface area. So they're not going to get, or sorry, they're going to have less surface area. So they're not going to be as well extracted as some of the smaller pieces, which are going to be over extracted. And the way that will taste is kind of, Darren would say it's more stringent. I'd say it's a little bit more kind of bitter when it's kind of over extracted and when it's under extracted, I would say it's not as sweet, which is something slightly different. Mm -hmm. Either way, you're kind of, again, affecting the taste of your beans. And if you've gone and bought a quality product, you best invest in a quality grinder. So we've talked about adjusting your grinder, but now we're going to talk about actually how you adjust it. So your electric grinder generally comes with two dials, one signifying how much coffee it's going to grind. So it generally comes between two to 12 cups. And then the other one is the grind size. So the grind size will signify finer or coarser and it's literally just a dial on the side like you can see on the screen and you just adjust accordingly. So a manual grinder obviously doesn't have those dials so how you adjust this is you unscrew the bottom like so and then you unscrew the top as well. To adjust the burrs you simply hold the top and twist this nozzle here at the bottom. If you twist it right you're going finer and if you twist it left you're going coarser. And that's how you adjust this. Now, no two grinders are the same. So you can't go and tell your friend, oh, you did three clicks to the left and it's working perfect because their grinder is going to be different out of the factory. So the only way to actually know if your grind size is right is brew the coffee. And how you know is how long the brew takes. So if your brew, if you're doing a pour over like a V60, you're aiming for around a three minute brew time. If your brew is longer than that, your coffee is too fine. And if it's shorter than that, your coffee is too coarse. So you have to adjust the clicks. It's as simple as that and it makes such a big impact. So you might be wondering, what grinders do we recommend? So in a hand grinder, the one we have here is the Hario Hand Mill Mini. Um, we reckon it's the best value grinder, it's about 35 euro. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic grinder, ceramic burrs, um, it'll keep you going for about three, four years. Um, really fantastic piece of kit. Uh, and then in the electric space, we went with DeLonghi. DeLonghi are one of the oldest names in coffee. Their Electro Machina Cafe Grinder is fantastic. We have a full review on both of these on our website, as well as an associated brew guide to help you get the best out of your coffee. And if you're looking for a great coffee to put in your grinder, make sure you check out our website to see our latest brew from our latest trip 
to whatever destination we ended up in the world. Great plug in, buddy. Love that. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. Um, Thank you.